Hello and welcome back to Podzone. We're so glad you all could join us again. Obviously, times are crazy, and so we're practicing some social distancing right now. We're on a Zoom call, but we're still going to bring you the podcast. David, I can't hear you. I think you muted your mic. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? I can't hear you. I think you muted your mic. David, I, I can't hear you. It's, it's a button on the bottom. You should be able to unmute it. If you go to the bottom left, the bottom left down there, yeah. There? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, great. Cool. So like I was saying, we have decided to do um, a Zoom call for this episode's podcast instead. Um, there are obviously some tef- technical di- difficulties, um, but we're working it out. Uh, we're figuring it out, but we're still going to bring you the show. We're- David, you did it again. You did it again. It's the same button I just showed you. You got to keep your hands off the keyboard. But it, yeah, the, the bottom left, like I just showed you. The bottom left. to another episode of podzilla it's a digital discourse of pop culture whatever else we were doing um, yeah have you been david that was pop culture centric sure arguably covid19 is popular culture in a weird way <laughs> it's about it's only, popular and yeah. it's affected our culture yeah it's about all our culture is it's just covid19 memes yeah yeah i'm i hate i hate it you know why i hate it now we talked about this like a couple days ago in our personal lives, but yeah. that there's like movies, no movies, no, no movies. movies, no more tenant, everybody it's gone. It's <laughs> and, and we don't know when we're going to get it back. No. And I'm sad. Yeah. And I'm depressed. Are you depressed? Yeah. That's why I have to play this song. Cause that song feels like the only thing that like, that's how I want to feel. Yeah. This song just is a, how I want to feel. Just a, a groovy vibe. Just, just walking down the, down yeah. the street. And it, what I like about it is it doesn't matter where you play it from. Yeah. It just, it just comes in. Like maybe we just should just real... have that transition. Like every time we're like, all right, let's talk about something else. <laughs> if we ever get sponsored, it's just like, next and up. now a quick word from our sponsors. This week's episode is brought to you by the Cash App. By Cash App. This episode is brought to you by MeUndies. <laughs> um, this episode I is wish. brought to you by Raid Shadow Legends. I wish this episode was... We should just start making up our own... Like, this episode is brought to you by us. Yeah. So we need to write like our own commercial and be yeah. like, this episode is brought to you by... We need a product first. What's a product you can get behind? These mic stands have had it. Not these mic stands. Not these mic stands. What's a product I can get behind? Look at this. Watch, watch this. This is where I want it. Oh. <laughs> There's a pill for that. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Um, welcome back. You just got to gotta lower the <laughs> just lower the lower the seat. That's all you can do. What's what is a product I can get behind? I could get behind like a I could get behind Sony. They don't need sponsors. Yeah, but sponsors. I'm saying that's the only thing that's making our podcast happen. That's true. We wouldn't have a podcast without Sony cameras. And Sony cameras. And, uh, and a black magic And a camera. black magic. But What about uh, Sure microphones? Well, yours is a Sure. Mine's not. Oh, what's yours? Mine, I think, is Sennheiser. Well, I'm sponsored Made by in Germany. Sony. You're sponsored by Sony this week? No, Sure. I'm, I'm, I'm sponsored s- by Sure. You're sponsored by I'm sponsored by Germany. Sobe Water. Sobe water with real geckos. 
<laughs> Isn't that this episode thing? is my half of the episode is brought to you by and one clothing. Ooh, <laughs> my episode is brought to you by Stephen Barry's. <laughs> Remember Stephen Barry's? <laughs> Whatever happened to that place? What's, uh, <laughs> my episode is brought to you by Rhino Skatewear. Oh, <laughs> my episode is brought to you by Airwalk Shoes. <laughs> we should only wear Airwalk Shoes and then like just say like we should get Airwalk Shoes. Yeah. And then for the next like 10 episodes, just say every episode is brought to you by Airwalk Shoes hey, and, you know and see if we can get Airwalk Shoes' attention. We haven't talked about any <laughs> pop culture up until this point. We're no. just warming up. Yeah. Um, this is old news, but <laughs> Ezra Miller... Who plays the Flash? He plays. Uh, he's in Fantastic Beasts. He's in The Perks of Being a Wallflower. He's a beloved actor. He choked a lady. Just grabbed her by the throat, and threw her down on the ground like a ragdoll. Ezra, don't body slam people. Ezra, he's like he was, an Iceland or something. And they yeah. want. They were like, I guess, badgering him for a yeah. photo or autographs. Maybe he had already taken photos and stuff. Yeah. But at some point, he said, "Enough is enough." Yeah. I'm putting you down. Yeah. You're out of here. And as and as her body hit the ground, the sound canceled his career. It didn't cancel his career because he's still making the Flash. He's still going to yeah. be in Fantastic Beasts. Yeah. Think about all the crazy like uh, political drama that surrounded the Fantastic Beasts franchise between J.K. Rowling tweeting, um, <laughs> you know, about uh, transsexual rights, um, between uh, Johnny Depp allegedly beating Amber Heard and then Amber and then Heard was the one who was beating yeah, him up right and then Ezra Miller choke slamming an Icelandic woman yeah that that's like that's like a cursed like it's it, <laughs> there's some sort of horcruxes within the movie that's cursing them the thing is I, I don't know I I don't know yeah that's that's no good but also the movies weren't that great. Did you like the Fantastic Beast movies? I liked the first one. I didn't like the second one. I did not much. like the second one. I kind of checked out. I think Colin Farrell should have played Grindelwald. Yeah. Instead of Totally. Instead of yeah. Johnny Depp. Totally. I think the Colin thing Farrell that ruined so good. the thing that ruined the first movie at the very end and mm-hmm. ruined all of the second movie, I think was Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp wasn't the worst. I think his character design was bad. Yeah, but, but also also the story was real bad in the second one. But Aren't we getting to a point where Johnny Depp is just playing like the same weird quirky characters? I mean, yeah, but he's a weird and quirky guy. Yeah, but like he hasn't every character that Johnny Depp plays, I'd say Sans Jack Sparrow. Yeah, is but, Johnny Depp acting. But could you buy him now as just a straight-laced guy? Maybe he's like the father of, you know, he's he's the abusive father of a young, in a hypothetical movie? Yeah, right, right, right. In a hypothetical movie, would you buy him as like an alcoholic, abusive father without thinking of him being drunk as Jack Sparrow? If he's starting to slur his speech like he does with Jack Sparrow, would you buy him? Or would no, you rather I'm be saying, like... I'm saying I haven't bought him as anything. Mm, you didn't you buy him as... Grindelwald. No. That's who he played, right? And I didn't buy him as Mordecai, and I didn't buy him as Sweeney Todd, <laughs> and I didn't buy him as, as uh, uh, what was it? Rango. Uh, Rango, and I <laughs> didn't loser. buy him as, what was the movie? It's not called, uh, what's the movie called? Is it new? What is that movie called? Black Mass. Yes. <laughs> um, I didn't buy him as any of those. They're all just Jack Black. It's literally like if if a four-year-old like pretends to be a cat. Yeah. It's like, I see you're pretending to be a cat, but I know you're a four year old. And then they walk into another room and then they come back and they're wearing like, you know, a wig and an Elsa dress. It's like, Oh, I see your Elsa, (laughs) but I know you're a four year old person. Does that make sense? Yeah. But you know, what doesn't make sense. You said Jack black in the middle of that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It threw me. Not Jack black. Why did I say Jack? I don't know. Because you said black mass. Oh yeah. And it was just um, Johnny's close to Johnny Depp, Jack Sparrow, Jack. (sighs) (laughs) um every week every week every week i think are we gonna get a copyright strike and then we hit record and then we play a song and i'm like yeah yeah we're gonna get a copyright strike right now it doesn't matter it doesn't matter no you're right um they can have all of the zero dollars that we're making (laughs) (laughs) um no but that's what i'm saying is johnny depp not jack black i said jack black because 
I just got confused sure, in the yeah, matter yeah. of speaking. You just um, don't buy him as anything. No. The only role that he's played that I th- I think was genuinely great and gripping at first is Jack Sparrow. But then as time went on, even that became like a caricature of itself. Like which with every movie, it was like t- uh, it was like a game of telephone. Jack Sparrow, this kind of really cool, interesting rogue character to a caricature of that, to a caricature of that until he just became like this goofy pirate, yeah. you know? Yeah. You know what I think would be a good move for him? I was trying to think of roles that he could play in like movies that I know are being made. The Last of Us is getting an HBO documentary. Yeah. Nope. An HBO show, an HBO series. Yeah. And I think he would make a terrific David. Do you remember the cannibal? The yes. cannibal leader that kind of like rescues Ellie in the mm-hmm. snowstorm? And I then, do. Yeah. I think he would make a terrific David. And that would be like a... He won't. You don't think he, he won't would? go to a TV show? Yeah, but it's an HBO series. He's got too much pride. He, I don't think he'd ever do a TV show. I well, if the paycheck's I, right, I gotta dis. Yeah, I gotta disagree because he's not a hot ticket right now. He's not gonna do. He's not gonna do that because one, it's an HBO show, and two, he's not the title character. You see what I'm saying? He's getting like two episodes, uh, but he's not a, a hot series. ticket anymore. He's not Jack Sparrow anymore. But he thinks he is. Does he? Johnny Depp. Does he? You're yeah, telling me de- Johnny yeah. Depp has had humble pie and doesn't think he's a star anymore. I think he's self-aware enough to be like, okay, I uh, I can't be Jack Sparrow anymore. Whether he was the one abusing Amber Heard or Amber Heard was the one abusing him, I think it's that's not know, for us to say. That's not for us to say. Um, but regardless, he's in a controversy. He's not a hot name anymore. That's I think, so sad. How the mighty have fallen. I know because he was the king for a while. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I think he would totally do it. I think an HBO miniseries, especially one like The Last of Us, that's going to be like really character heavy. I well, think he'd do it. I I think you're right, and he's not picky. Yes. He's not picky. He's not picky. Mm-hmm. Yeah, especially that's what now. I'm saying. He'll take any role he that's, can get. That's right exactly now. what I was trying yeah, to, right, to get across. Right. I think he I would think do maybe it. Maybe I was and thinking I think he would do a good job. I think maybe I was thinking like prime yeah. Johnny Depp, and I think he would just just hit it enough to like everybody's like. Okay, he's back. I want to see more Johnny Depp. Because if you think that an HBO series playing a v- a villain, not for the whole series, but yeah. for maybe three episodes, yes, would I, revitalize I so. his whole career. Yes, you need that one good role, that one good role in that one really popular HBO series. If The Last of Us truly gets made and they do it well, is there is there an takes- example of another actor that you can think of that was at the peak of their career? Dip down, did a show, and now they're they're desirable again. God, it's so many, it's so many like up and downs to to nail down on one person. Okay, so I'm, is there an actor who you can think of that was a teenage rock star who dropped out of high school, was then a model, <laughs> then started acting? His trajectory went up and down as he struggled with drugs. Um, he finally got clean, did a Disney movie by Jerry Bruckheimer that blew him into the stratosphere, <laughs> got way too involved with Tim Burton and kind of stalled out. Yeah. Um, kind of peaked and then, but had a good solid A-list celebrity career, married someone that was way too young for him. She said that he beat her up and then he got canceled. And then he joined the uh, uh, Harry Potter franchise, excuse uh-huh. me, the Wizarding World franchise, and has kind of stalled out again. What other actor has done that <laughs> besides Johnny Depp? <laughs> John Travolta? No, I'm just kidding. Obviously not. Um, I mean... I think, I think the only other person I can think of right now who was an A-lister and then kind of like dropped off the radar and now is in a very successful TV show... Brendan Fraser is yeah, in the middle of it. Yeah, but he's not a desirable actor now. I mean, yeah, but like, Johnny that's Depp a crazy could, threshold to Johnny be in a Depp show. Could still be a desirable actor. So what? So just this: what actor has been in it who has had a decent career? Mm-hmm. It dropped off, and then they moved to television, and then their career picked back up to the silver screen, being in movies again. I mean, okay, the thing is. The age of television has never been equal to the age of movies ever until now. But it's still not. Uh, I think it is. To the general public. No, no, no. Not to me and you, but to the general public. Yeah, probably. I don't think so. 
You I don't think, think so? Not cognizantly. I don't know, man. People, because as big as Game of Thrones was... Yeah, but as, that's what I'm saying is as big of Game of Thrones was, right? Right. Huge. The huge. general audience did not view any actor on that show as highly as they viewed any actor in the MCU. Any actor in the MCU. Those were way more famous people because they're in movies. Not shows, movies. Okay, another even argument. The, even uh, but the, another even argument. That, uh, off of that direct argument, people see Chris Evans and Robert Downey Jr. and maybe Scarlett Johansson. Those are like the big three from the MCU. Everyone else is very famous, but you're not going to be like... I mean... I would say Mark Ruffalo is equally as recognizable as a Jon Snow, which you... I disagree. Well, you haven't seen the show, David. Yeah, but that doesn't matter. (laughs) I shouldn't have to because I'm general public. If you show me a picture of Jon Snow and a picture of Mark Ruffalo and say which one's more popular, which one has a bigger net worth, which one's more famous, Uh, who would you pick? I think they're pretty equal. That is insane. Hey man, you're a crazy person. I I think <laughs> I think I think Kit Harrington, the guy who plays Jon Snow, I think he is he is just as famous. You're I insane. Think if he's walking down one street, Mark Ruffalo is walking down the other. All the people are just going to run in opposite directions. That is so wrong. It's no, sad. it's not. That's so wrong. Hey, look, tell me in the comments below if you agree with me or if you agree with David. Because I I gotta say I gotta say, man, if you if you. No, no, <laughs> you're just wrong. I don't care no. what they say in the comments. If you were standing on a forked road and Jon Snow was in one direction and Mark Ruffalo was in the other direction, which one would you go you to? You don't have a valid opinion, David. You which never one? watched Game of Thrones. Exactly. That's my point. Everybody's seen Game of Thrones. Yeah, but, not, but I'm saying that's the thing. Not, it doesn't matter. Pick a show <laughs> that I've seen that's just as popular as Game of Thrones. Stranger Things. Okay. Any character from Stranger Things that I'm picking over going and meeting Mark Ruffalo, tell me them right now. Not you personally, David. Anybody. Who's going to go see Hopper overseeing Mark Ruffalo? Mark Ruffalo. (laughs) No one. I would Who's ra- going to go see Millie Bobby Brown that you'd rather go Mark have Ruffalo. dinner with Mark Ruffalo than freaking Sheriff Hopper? Yes. Really? Yes. You're being so spiteful, David. I'm not. You it's know true. you're lying to me. I would, it's Mark freaking Ruffalo. It's David freaking Harbor. David Harbor has one show that he's popular for. One thing. Name me another Mark Ruffalo property that's just as successful. Zodiac. I'm not That's saying just not- as successful. I'm saying career wise. I'm not talking straight up Avengers. Yeah. Right. I'm not talking about just the Avengers movies. I'm talking about as a person, if you viewed like just a picture of Mark Ruffalo, right? Not him as Bruce Banner, just him as an actor, Mark Ruffalo. Sure. And he, that's it. His whole career. You cannot tell me that he is on the same playing field as Kit Harrington. You cannot tell me that. He is not. He isn't. It's just not. That's just not true. Is Kit Harrington popular? And is he very popular, especially with people who've watched Game of Thrones? Absolutely, 100%. But they are not on the same level. You are missing a crucial, crucial part of this. You haven't seen Game of Thrones. That's why I swapped it to David Harbour. Right. And I say the same about David Harbour. Look, looking at them as actors, not as Sheriff Hopper, not as Bruce Banner, just as actors, David Harbour is nowhere near Mark Ruffalo. Same thing. That's my same argument with a different actor. Enter any actor into from a TV show next to Mark Ruffalo. And okay. Tell me- well, how about this? Because we're going to just run around in circles. We're going to have to table this conversation until after Black Widow comes out when Hopper's in the MCU, after David Harbour is in the MCU. So you think just having Stranger Things and having Black Widow is going to make David Harbour even equal to Mark Ruffalo? Absolutely! Oh my gosh, you're Look, crazy. No, 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 you're no, no. Crazy. no, I'm not. Mark Ruffalo is very popular with our moms. He's very, he's an incredible actor. I love Mark Ruffalo. Yeah. But I'm saying David Harbour is his equal. There is nothing like, sure, Mark Ruffalo has been around longer, mm-hmm. but now 
And Mark Ruffalo, by the way, has his own HBO show. Yeah, and he can, but he's still a movie star. So why can't Johnny Depp have his own freaking HBO show? I'm not saying he can't. Why are we arguing then? I don't know why you're yelling so much. All right, fair enough. I'm not saying that. All I'm saying, literally the only argument I'm making is that David Harbour is not as popular at, or net worth or I'm not anything. saying net worth because Mark Ruffalo has been around a lot longer and has been I know, a lot more things. And he's got a lot more things. On, that's exactly what I'm saying. I'm saying but he's strictly, just as popular. Yes and no. David! Yes and no. Agree with me! I can't. I can't agree with you. I don't agree that David Harbour is just as famous as Mark Ruffalo. I don't agree with that. I don't. That's crazy talk. <laughs> it's crazy that you don't see it. That's crazy. Because especially Mark Ruffalo, I could never argue with Chris Evans. I could never argue with Robert Downey Jr. But Mark Ruffalo, you could totally head to head, they are they are they are equally as popular. Mark Ruffalo and David, David Harbour. Harbour. Yeah. If you think so, Braden. If you think so. <laughs> what are you typing? <laughs> Raiden is an idiot. Raiden is an idiot. <laughs> no, I'm lit. I'm just looking at how many movies Mark Ruffalo, how many things Mark Ruffalo has acted in. That's it's just not, what I want to know. That's not. You can't do that because Mark Ruffalo is one older and two has had a more successful career up until David Harbour got his Stranger Things role. That's but but at the same time, Mark Ruffalo has his own show. David Harbour is he the star of his show? Oh, one could argue that he is. Who's the star of Stranger Things? Millie Bobby Brown. And then yeah. the four other kids, followed by Nancy and Jonathan and Steve. You think Nancy and Jonathan are, are more bigger are bigger stars than David Harbour? I'm not saying they're bigger stars. I'm saying they're more they're bigger on the show. No way. Maybe not. Well, you know what? They're equal. They're equal with Sheriff Hopper. David. What? The kids are the main part of the show. That's the whole point. Yeah, sure. Sure. So he at least... Is the Hulk the main part in the Avengers movies? No. So what is the argument? I don't know why you're so upset. I'm not arguing anything. I just I'm want just... validation and agreement because this is it, man. Look, if, if Sheriff Hopper is... He's equally not a main character as the Hulk is in the Avengers movies. Right, but there's a level of clout where, yeah, he's playing Sheriff Hopper. That's cool. Mark Ruffalo is playing the Hulk, which one is of the a most bigger beloved property? superheroes of, of the last 50 the years. The amount of popularity that Stranger Things has compared to the Avengers. Sure, the Avengers might be a little bit more mainstream. No, they're both so mainstream. Mm -hmm. They're both, both on the front page. Mm -hmm. And you're talking about B characters. Mm -hmm. I'd say, I would say, I would say Hopper's more important to Stranger Things than, than Bruce Banner is to the Avengers. Right. Well, okay. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's fine. Mm -hmm. But I mean, like star power, David Harbour's swinging for the fences, just like Mark Ruffalo is. Yeah. That doesn't make him they, any they higher. Are, they are, no, no, that no. It doesn't I'm even saying, them out to me. They, they are, they are completely evened out. I don't think so. Even if they're, and I'm saying, I'm, I agree with you that they're close. They're like that close. They're but this Mark close. Ruffalo has an edge. They're not equal. It's enough. They are so it's enough equal. that if you take a step back, Mark Ruffalo, Mark Ruffalo's got more water in his in his glass than David Harbor does. They're both filled up. Yeah, but but David Harbor's drinking vitamin water, so it goes for longer. <laughs> Whatever, man. If you think you know so. what, I'm gonna be real pissed off if David Harbor gets canceled in the in the week that this comes out and we drop it. I doubt it. I no, doubt no. it. Okay, we got to move on. We got to move on. All right. Can we agree to disagree and then just move on with the episode? Yes, absolutely. Okay. Can you please stop yelling? I want to be friends again. I do too. I didn't ever want to not be friends. You just started yelling at me. I, I'm real passionate about my boy, David Harbour. That's fine. <laughs> Dude, I love David Harbour. I'm a huge fan of David Harbour. He was one of the most, ex and we've talked about this on the show. He was the one, one of the most yeah. exciting things about the Black Widow trailer. Yeah. It's exciting. I was excited for Hellboy. Too bad it sucked. Too bad, man. Too bad. I don't we blame, agree on it. I don't blame David Har David Harbour for that at all. Right? Rate right it one to th ten. One, two, three, four. Ah, uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, I was gonna, I was gonna say, I was gonna three? say four two, but uh, forty two. Four as well. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, forty two out of ten stars. 
No, I, I'm saying I love David Harbour. I hope that his career just continues to go up. But what I'm saying is per like average view, Mark Ruffalo is more recognizable and thus more famous than David Harbour is. Well, I, we've said our piece. So we both came up with two different games. Which one do you want to do? Do your game. So I'm going to name an actor. And you have to say right off the top of your head how many Oscars they've won. Oh. For act like for acting. Okay. That's all. That's the whole game. Okay. Do you want me to look up any actors for you or are you just gonna do No, it for just me? go for it and then and then we'll talk about it. Okay. You ready? Yep. Ethan Hawke. Two. Laura Dern. One. Matt Damon. Two. Woody Harrelson. One. Uh, Sorcia Ronan. Zero. Angela Bassett. One. Brad Pitt. One. Annette Benning. Two. Ed Harris. One. Samuel L. Jackson. None. Michelle Williams. None. Johnny Depp. One. Sam Elliott. One. Jake Gyllenhaal. Zero. Tom Cruise. One. Will Smith. Zero. Viggo Mortensen. Zero. Willem Dafoe. Zero. Bradley Cooper. Zero. It was a trick test. They were all zero. Dang, really? Isn't that crazy? Hold up. Okay, so read them all again. Bradley Cooper, Willem Dafoe, Viggo Mortensen, Will Smith, Tom Cruise, Jake Gyllenhaal, Sam Elliott, Johnny Depp, Michelle Williams, Samuel L. Jackson, Ed Harris, Annette Benning, Brad Pitt, Angela Bassett, Sorcia Ronan. Brad Ronin. Pitt has won an Oscar. Not for acting. Supporting actor? Well, maybe that was since this list, because okay. you're right. That was literally the last Oscar, yeah. so I'll give you that one. Thank you. Yes! One! Laura Linney, which we didn't say, Woody Harrelson, Matt Damon, Laura Dern. Matt and Damon Ethan hasn't won. He won a screenwriting. Oh, for Goodwill Hunting. For Goodwill Hunting, but he's never okay. won. He was nominated for The Martian. Uh, okay. Well, yeah, I mean. But he lost. I knew he won one for Goodwill Hunting. So can I have two out of 20? Um, well, at, at yes. First, at it was first, a trick. It was a trick game. So I, at, you weren't going to win anyway. So yes, I'll give you those two. At first, I thought I was nailing them because you weren't saying anything. Mm-hmm, so mm-hmm, I was just like, mm-hmm. yes, I'm going to keep going. Two, eight, <laughs> 25. How many Oscars? How many Oscars has Steven Spielberg won? Two, three. Schindler's List. Best, best director, picture, best, best director, director, best picture. And then Saving Private Ryan. How many Golden Globes has he won? I don't know. Golden Globes are they're easier to get, aren't they? Yeah. So how many do you think? Six. Bro, you nailed it. Really? Six. Heck yeah. Six on the head. How many daytime Emmy Awards has oh Steven Spielberg won? Emmys. Seven. Yes. Frickin nailed it. Yeah. <laughs> Is there a mirror behind me? How are you <laughs> seeing this? <laughs> Seven. Look, look at Buzz right now. That's how I feel. All right. You want to play my game now? Yes. All right. So my game that I came up with, um, we've got a wall of movies. You can't see how many shelves there are, but there are three shelves. Um, There are about 80 movies per shelf, and there's six shelves. Yeah. So there's three rows and then two columns, I guess. Yeah. So what I think we should do is, um, like, say, left shelf, third row, fourth movie. So we go left shelf, third row up. And then grab the fourth movie. You will tell me, you know, right shelf, first row, third movie. We'll grab them. We'll have a, we're we're already fighting. So let's just go ahead and say. I have a randomizer pulled up. Would you rather do that? Sure. Oh, like, like number wise. Like one out of three. Yeah. Cool. So uh, do you want me to do it for you first? Yeah, do it. One. Okay. And I'll do it for me now. Wait, now right or left? Uh, you just want to do our columns? Yeah, let's do our side. Okay. Well, no, let's not do that. Yeah, I would rather do like because. Okay, so here we go. Um, right or left for you? Left. Okay. Row three, movie, because mine is also left. Row three, 20. Okay, so. My movie is Zombieland. My movie oh, is shoot. Hunger Games Part Two Catching Fire. Yep. 
All right. What now? Would you like to start or would you like me to start? So we're you're we're defending our movie yeah. for the better movie of the two. Yeah. Okay. I'll start with one sentence. Okay. It's not catching fire. <laughs> And a second sand- <laughs> sentence. It's zombie land. <laughs> um, no. My argument for this movie over Catching Fire is that it's a completely original cinematic expression. Sure. It's not based off of a book. It was made for the screen and it was way ahead of its time as far as comedy and as far as zombie movies are concerned. Yeah. Um, my um, opening statements are <laughs> God Almighty. <laughs> It's the best Hunger Games movie. Yeah. It's the best Hunger Games movie. It's actually got a compelling story compared to all the rest of them. Mm-hmm. First one wasn't that well made. Very low budget. This one. This it's, one it's took the, all the money that the, the first one. It's the Empire Strikes Back of Hunger Games. Sequel's the best one. This one has the most emotional depth to it. Okay. I say it's it's more emotional than Zombieland. Yes. Um, I agree. Um the action sequences are pretty spectacular. Mm-hmm. Um, you feel that emotional weight. And I just, I, I honestly stand by this movie saying it's very good. <laughs> Closing statements. Sure. I mean, what do you want me to argue here? Zombieland is an excellent movie in its category. Um, it features a cast that was How about almost this? Closing statements. Just tell me why it's better than my okay. movie. Um, completely original for movies. That's because I want to keep it short and concise. Okay. It's completely original and well, comma, Uh and well executed. It's a completely original and well executed movie. Okay. Mine is, um, it's a very emotional ride that capitalizes on the first movie ups the ante in all areas sure. and has dramatic payoff and leaves you off on a good cliffhanger. So that's my, that's my thing. I honestly think that these movies are pretty equal, like entertainment value wise. I'm not saying the whole hunger game series. Now, like now closing statements are over. <laughs> like if, if I'm watching a hunger games movie, it's this one. So uh, how do we de- definitively decide which one's better? We just count I mean, to three and, and we, I know, but that's what I'm saying is why are you even arguing this at this point? I tried my best, man. No, I know, but I don't think it's win or lose for either of us. Yeah. Like, I don't think you should really be like trying to like, if you had zombie land and I had that movie, yeah. then I would be bummed out about it. Like I wouldn't, I would be like, yeah, zombie land's better. Yeah. Game over. Yeah. I did my best. One, two, three, zombie land. Next, let's do that shelf. Oh, this is actually pretty good. My the movie I got is Iron Man 2. Uh Peter Travers from the Rolling Stone says it's a total blast. Okay. Uh the movie I got was mid 90s. Have you seen this movie? I have seen that movie. I've seen okay. both of these movies. Okay. I've seen both of these movies too. All right. I'll go first this time since you went first last sure. time. Sure. Uh, mid-90s, to steal your argument, it's completely original. I agree with that. Coming of age story, emotional sledgehammer of a movie. Um, powerhouse performances. Yep. Um, yeah, that's that's pretty much my opening statement. It's a pretty simple movie. Yeah. Iron Man 2. <laughs> it's not bad. It's good. It's, it's a good Iron Man it's movie. It's completely fine. It's completely fine, and that's a great way to put it. Uh, this is the, uh, what ha- this movie has going for it within the MCU is the introduction of war machine, the introduction of black widow, um, as well as the introdu- introduction of Don Cheadle as war mm, machine. Yeah. Um, I mean, Mickey Rourke is in it, which is kind of cool. <laughs> Um, <laughs> you gotta name something besides the cast. <laughs> it's got a good cast. It's a good movie. It's a great sequel. It's not better than Iron Man. Right. But it's a great, it's a valiant sequel. That's what okay. I'll say about that. Um, my rebuttal, why this movie's better. Um, and your closing statement. My rebuttal and closing statement. Okay. Um, it's a very real story mm-hmm. um, about like a very real and believable kid yeah. who's trying to fit in, trying to find his way in the world whenever he's got a not so great home life. Mm-hmm. Um, very touching, very uneasy at times, but Absolutely. also very 
heartwarming in a way, to, uh, how he finds acceptance and everything like that. Um, so I say this is a better movie because it's, it's, it's just a better story, better yeah. cohesive film. Yeah. Um, that wasn't a sentence, but... <laughs> oh, <yeah>. closing <laughs> statements have to be a sentence? Well, they were last time. Oh, I, I thought it was rebuttal and closing statement. Oh, well, I'll just give a similar... My argument for this is within its franchise, it's a valiant sequel used to introduce new characters. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> That's okay. it. That's one, literally two, what this movie is for. One, is two, three, mid-90s. Mid I mean, yeah, that's... Sorry, Iron Man 2. <laughs> All Let's right. do one more. Yeah. You are on the left. I'm on the right this time. Okay. You are shelf. What what movie did you get? <clears throat> I got Whiplash. Ooh. <laughs> That's a good one. I got a movie just for Jamie Walker. It's a night's tale. A night's tale. <laughs> That's a good movie. It's a good movie. And it's honestly, it's like movie. a really sweet spot in my heart. So um, this is going to be a fun one. Yeah. A Knight's Tale yeah. starring Heath Ledger. We will rock you. Heck yeah. A Knight's Tale is one. It's it's a very unique movie. Yeah. And that's, I think, the best thing that it has going for it. This out of the two, I would recommend this movie to pretty much anyone. Yeah. Um. It's a, it's got a great fun story. It's a medieval movie, but it has a lot of modern elements to it that, that really make it a fun watch. Um, it's nostalgic for you it's especially, for but it's nostalgic nostalgia. for yeah. me as well. Um, it's Heath Ledger and arguably one of his best roles besides the Joker, right. but one of his best leading man hero roles. Yeah. Um, it's just well-written a well-executed modern medieval movie. Yeah. And it's fun and it's funny. It's not just a drama medieval movie. It's right. got comedy elements yeah. to it, but it doesn't lose its heart. It's got a big heart. This movie. Big heart. This movie is heartless. Heartless. It's uh Were you rushing or dragging? Whiplash. Um he will rock you. Yes, he will. Right <laughs> in the face. Right in the face. Um it's a very dark and gritty look into the world of jazz music. Yeah. Um, competition. No, not competition. Just jazz music in general. Um, you could not possibly find a movie with better performances. Top tier. Great acting. Top tier acting all the way around. Yep. Um, I agree. Like, there's never been better performances than in this movie. Um, it is exhilarating. Yeah. Adrenaline pumping. Especially, mm -hmm. Like, if you think it's about intense. it, it's a jazz movie, but somehow it raises your blood pressure. Yeah, it's incredible. It somehow makes it into the thriller genre, like a psychological thriller. Yeah, but it's at its heart, it's just an incredible character piece on how far you can push your mind. Yeah, um, and it's a great movie, and it's a great movie, and that's all I got to say. These are two solid. These are two solid movies, almost like, incomparable, like uncomparable. Yeah, but yeah, <laughs> but they fall like out of a ten score, they kind yeah. of fall in the same like. To me, yeah, but for different reasons, yeah. Like yeah. I'd rate, what would you rate them out of 10? I'd give them each oh, like, like eight, a eight, seven. Yeah. Do you give high scores? I like movies. Like, <laughs> I mean, I do too. Yeah. I'd give them a solid seven each six and a half, seven. Yeah. Hey, I, I agree. I honestly don't know if I can choose. I will, I, I will say this. I, I think we'll I, I know which one statement. I'm going to, I think I know which one I'm going to choose because I'm also taking the, into consideration with these two movies like if we were to watch a movie yeah, right now, right. which one would I want to watch? One, two, three, nice, nice tale. tale. So we didn't even have to make an argument on that mm -hmm. one, but whiplash, like that was like, it's, that was like, that was like a David Harbor, Mark Ruffalo, really yeah. close. Yeah. That was a really close okay. Harbor to Ruffalo ratio. If you're talking about, this is, this is a, a perfect example of a film versus a movie. Yeah. Like this is a film. Like, yeah. You don't really walk away out of it. You don't walk out of Whiplash feeling all good. You think about the performances. You think about how it was made. You think about the story that was told. Sure. You walk out of A Night's Tale just thinking about how much how you fun love. it was. How much fun you had. Yeah, yeah. How much, like, yeah, exactly. Like, how fun that journey was. And wow, isn't it great that everything worked out in the end? That's as close to a tie as you can get. Yeah, I agree. Night's Tale wins Let's do one by, more. by a hair. Let's do one more. You are left shelf. You just go right. Okay. Here, how about this? I'm going to say this. Let me go 
Which one haven't you done yet? Let me go one or two over here because those are where the best movies are. You stay on the second shelf. Yeah, because that's the only shelf I haven't done. Yeah, and also these are where the... Okay, you do like one, two, probably... F- just do one to 40 for you because you're going to go on the second shelf. I'll go on the top or, bot- or the the second two shelf. So, so my number give me, is... Give, huh? Give go me ahead. one or two. One or two? Yeah. Uh, One. Okay. So you're on two. So now we just need a number. So I'm on two out of 40. Yeah. Mine's 33. Okay. And yours is out of 40, you want to say? We'll just say 40 and you can just land there. 25. Okay. Mine were, mine are both excellent movies. One is my more favorite. I think okay. I have one that's better. Okay. Okay. Well, j- just say, cause I know the, I know so, one of them. So I got one movie that Braden told me was not nearly as good as his. Yeah. So then I got a second movie based on a number that he just gave you just gave me randomly. Yeah, right. So I have two movies. Mm-hmm. The first one was the sequel, Secret Life of Walter Mitty. Excellent. Which is a great movie. Yes. The next one was Drive. Oh. Which is one of my personal favorite movies. Yeah. Yeah, get drive up. Yeah, there. they're good for different reasons. They're Most good for different yeah, yeah. reasons. It, this it's <sighs> so my movies drive. Your movie's really good. My movie's <laughs> dumb good. <laughs> um, my movie seven. Oh, that's a good. That's a good one too. That's I a think, good classic. Yeah, I think they're these are these are this is gonna be a good one. Yeah, this is a fun game. I could play this game all night. Yeah, me too. Um, I'll go first because you went first last time. Okay. Um, seven is about as suspenseful as you can get. Yeah. Pretty horrific, real dark. Exhilarating. But, but very exhilarating. Amazing performances, amazing story, amazing directing, amazing writing. You almost you really couldn't get much better than this movie as a whole. Yeah. Um, now say something that's in any way, shape, or form different than what I just said okay. for your movie. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this is what I'll say about Drive. Drive is, from a cinematic standpoint, very well executed. It takes its time. And oh man, I love this movie so Me much. Too. I just want to watch it. Me too. Um and I'll say this what it does oppose to seven, because mm-hmm. they are similar as far as vibe. Yeah. It does a lot with very little. Mm-hmm. Set pieces, uh props, uh budget. This movie doesn't have a huge budget. Right. And it does a lot within what it had. Yeah to use mm-hmm. great acting. Um, Ryan Gosling, this is probably one of, in my opinion, Ryan Gosling's best performances. Yeah. And he doesn't say a lot, but that's kind of what makes it right. so good. Um, it's got love. It's got heart. It's intense. It's got vengeance. It's got, um, intensity. I mean, it's just a well-rounded movie as well as it has Brian Cranston in it. I'll say as that well too. as that closing statements. A dark, Seven's a classic, though. A dark, gritty classic with amazing performances, with second to none suspense mm-hmm. and perfect and storytelling. It's a classic, and what? And I would even argue that even if Drive were to become a classic, the older Seven gets, it's still going to be a classic. Yeah, like my, it will never age out. No, and I and I'm making arguments for Seven now. Right, but I can make <laughs> um, argues all day for Drive. What I'll say about Drive closing statement: um, This movie flies under the radar. Not many people have seen this movie and it's a shame because this is probably one of the best movies. This is like in my top five favorite movies. Same, same easy. Um, this is an excellent movie. Yeah. Like I have, and I can't say that about seven. I can't say seven is in my top five. I can say drive is in my top five. I know. I can't, I can't either. Um, personally, uh, cinematically in the use of, um, like the cinematography in this movie and the intentionality of lighting, the intentionality of blocking scenes, the intentionality of uh, the rule of thirds with, within just the director of photography standpoint, um, it's, it's art. You could literally take any screenshot from this movie and hang, hang it, on it up your on your wall, wall. As, yeah. as artwork. Um, and the story is, is awesome. One, two, three, drive. drive! Oh man, that makes me sad though because seven's so good. I, it's hard to just like ignore seven that hard but drive there is not a single thing i would change about drive yeah there's not a single thing i can change off the top of my head for seven either right like it is 
It's excellent. It is excellent and as well. And arguably the, like the, sh- like the, I don't know who the DP was on, on I'm seven, sure. but uh, like same thing. It's yeah, artwork. Like it is. every Absolutely. shot is beautiful. Absolutely it is. And there are, there are and literally workshops and there are people that teach cinematography that use seven mm-hmm. as an example of blocking a scene or as an example of, yeah. of, uh, using, you know, the camera to be another actor in the story itself right but they do the same thing about drive drive okay i Mm. have it it comes down to the simple thing that what we did with whiplash and a knight's tale yeah which are you gonna watch more and i'm gonna watch drive because drive me personally it just it inspires me to make something yeah like absolutely seven is a perfect movie that i would never like change anything about i have nothing bad to say about it sure but drive to me personally just inspires me. Yeah. Drive and is to the modern era what taxi driver was to its era. I agree. I have a fun story about drive as well. Yeah. Um my mom took me to go see it. So Did she hate it? I was dabbling in the I was probably 15, 14. Definitely was not driving. I saw it in theaters? Mhm. Okay. In the in the Dollar Theater. What year did Drive come out? 2011 maybe. Okay. Um, but so my mom and I, we used to go on monthly, like mother son dates. My dad would take my sisters out. My mom would take me out. And Mm -hmm. so, um, we were going to go see a movie and the drive trailer came out and I was like, looks cool. This looks awesome. It looks like, like a fast and furious movie. Yeah. Which is not, (laughs) which it's not at all. Um, and so my mom was like, cool, that looks amazing. Let's go see it. And I did tell her like, mom, it's rated R. Cause she was very strict about what I w- would was able to watch. And so we did a, a quick, there used to be a, a website like my Christian guides.com or something like that. Yeah. And it would let you know like how it wasn't even like, on that website, m- light, was it? moderate, heavy. And it was, and really? it said that the profanity is, is a little bit heavy, but it fell into the moderate range. Right. Um, but it said nothing about like violence. nudity or anything like that. Or violence. Or violence. Or violence. Nothing at all about the violence. At all. Somebody did a bad job. Somebody did a really bad job. Uh, so she takes me to go see this movie. We are, we're loving it. It's, it's, it's not her movie at all. Because, mainly because Ryan Gosling was so quiet. And there was a lot of... Yeah, it takes its time. And it, like it wasn't her type of soundtrack, which the soundtrack is amazing. Absolutely. Um... Can you can you, yes. the, you know what the intro song the yes. ex, the outro song should be this week? It should be the a real human being song. Um. Anyways, it, she wasn't feeling it. I was really feeling it, and then the heist goes wrong, right? And then there's that there's that scene where the guy like shoots the girl through the window, and her head explodes, pretty much. Yep. And then you know the movie just kind of spins out of control from there. Mm-hmm. Um. And then he goes to the strip club. And he goes in the back of the strip club and there's a bunch of naked ladies. And so my mom screams at the top of her lungs, like, close your eyes. <laughs> and I swear every head in that theater just went down. Like they stopped, <laughs> they all great. stopped looking. Um, she hated it. I loved it. Um, everybody in my family hates that movie, but I, it's, it's one of my top five. Gosh, that movie is so good. Yeah. I love drive. We should just go watch drive. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much for joining us on this episode of Podzilla. Please make sure to subscribe. Make sure to comment down below. Who do you think is more famous, Mark Ruffalo or David Harbour? Please tell um, us. <laughs> also, uh, yeah, subscribe, like this video, comment. Uh, that helps the algorithm. Um, also, follow us on Instagram at pod.zilla. You can email us at thepodzillashow at gmail.com. You can follow us personally on Instagram. I'm at Tonus Braden. I'm at the David Smith Jr. Yeah. And until next time, until next time. remember to smash mouth that like button. <laughs> Just kidding. Hold on. Let me play the right song. This there is it, is. right? This, this is, is it. it. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. See you guys next week. Bye. Could you freestyle to this? I wish. It's so slow.
Whoa, I just can't, I can't help but vibe to it. My mom, she really hates this movie. <laughs> she says it's bad. Hang on. <laughs> My mom really hates this movie. She says it's got too many titties. <laughs> oh, that's it. Yeah, that's yeah, it. Yeah. My mom really hates this movie. She, she says it has too many boobies. Oh, there it is. That's what it is. <laughs> to see the boobies. Don't tell my mom I like the boobies. <laughs> That's not even true. this movie with my mommy and she covered my eyes I wish I could see the boobies but I'm too have been really nice but I'm an innocent child 